COVID-19 pandemic has swept across the globe, creating confusion with constantly changing research and public health guidelines. So far, scientists have found that SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, is transmitted through aerosols, solid particles held in liquids or gases. As a result, public health officials have recommended that everyone wears masks to prevent infected individuals from releasing these aerosols into the air. Some individuals like the idea, however, some are a bit skeptical about its effectiveness. I asked the community about their confusions and brought in a scientist, Angie, to help answer their questions. Angie has agreed to share her animations with us while she teaches us more about masks. Over to you, Angie. Thanks for having me here today, Tess. Let's tackle the first question. I've read an article that said masks don't reduce the transmission of the disease. But then, months later, articles said that masks are effective. What should I believe? This is a very common question. At first, due to the lack of data on COVID-19, scientists based the research on the flu. As more data on COVID-19 became available, masks have been shown to reduce the risk of infection. N95 masks reduce your risk the most, followed by surgical masks and then homemade single-layer cloth masks. These masks function by filtering little particles, like SARS-CoV-2, from the air you breathe. The more effective a mask, the smaller the particles it can filter out. In general, wearing a homemade mask is adequate for daily use, assuming an individual wears a snug mask that covers both the nose and mouth. Homemade masks should have more than two layers and be frequently washed on high heat. These strategies offer more protection because there's a better filter and they ensure that viruses trapped in the mask fibers are removed frequently. One might consider using an N95 or surgical mask if they are at high risk of getting COVID-19 or have risk of complications. Please note that surgical masks are intended for single use, whereas individuals should follow manufacturer guidelines on the reuse of N95 masks. If less particles are entering and exiting through the mask, does that mean that mask wearers will have weaker immune systems or breathe in more carbon dioxide? Not at all. Certain particles in the air, such as carbon dioxide, and those that strengthen your immune system will still pass through the mask, no matter how great the filtration is. Think about surgeons and doctors who wear masks every day. If masks made you breathe too much carbon dioxide or weakened your immune system, they would be dead before 50. Wow, that's great news. Let's see what the next person says. I don't like wearing a mask because I feel like I should have the freedom to choose what I'd like to wear. It is very understandable to not want to wear a mask. However, masks are quite effective in preventing you from spreading the virus to others and catching it from them too. This is specifically important if you are asymptomatic, meaning you don't show symptoms of having COVID-19. You could pass the virus to those who can be severely affected by it. I didn't know that. Now let's see what Jasmine, another member of the community, has to say about masks. I've heard that masks are effective in preventing the spread of COVID-19, but does that mean I have to physically distance while wearing a mask too? Physical distancing, or staying at least two meters away from others, works together with habits like mask wearing and hand washing to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Think about it like wearing a seatbelt in a car, for example. While the seatbelt will prevent serious injuries, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't practice safe driving techniques, like watching for pedestrians. I am also wondering if I should wear a mask outside, now that we don't have to do it while eating at a restaurant patio. The air circulation is better when you are outside, which means that you are less likely to contract the virus. This being said, when you cannot physically distance, you should still wear your mask because there's still a chance you'll contract the virus. I think that's all the time we have left on our mask segment today. Thank you so much for coming in to talk to us, Angie. Here's a quick recap of what we've learned. We learned that N95, surgical, and homemade masks are all effective to different degrees in preventing the spread of COVID-19, especially in asymptomatic individuals. We also learned that masks don't affect carbon dioxide exhalation or the immune system. 
Lastly, we found out that masks work in tandem with hand washing and physical distancing. So don't forget to physically distance while wearing your mask, even if you're outside.